I think this is a really great sign about where San Diego, uh, the, the region is going, that we're not just going to be dealing with open data, although we're making great, great strides on that, but really technology as a whole. So um, we have speakers today talking about open source software. We have speakers talking about usability, about artificial intelligence, about data. So this is going to be a great program. Um, and looking forward to not only uh, their presentations, but afterwards we are going to have a beer reception. That will be your chance to answer, to ask questions, have them answer it, really grill them, uh, and, and really have a, really start a great conversation. Now, we're not going to have a chance to learn about anything in huge depth. Uh, the speakers have six minutes and 40 seconds each. Um, <laughs> Exactly six minutes and 40 seconds, and i got to look up. This is a style called Hacha Kucha. Thank you. So, so all but a couple of them agreed to do this. So they are having 20 slides that auto advance every 20 seconds. They have no clickers, no control of this. So wish them luck. Uh, I, think, I don't think any of them have done it before, so uh, bear with them. Um, I wish I could acknowledge everybody who's here today. Uh, but in particular, I do want to mention the elected officials who are here. Um, I see we have Council Member Kersey and Sherman in the back. Thank you both for being here. Um, who else do we have here? Uh, Umberto Peraza from Southwestern is here. Thank you, Umberto. Uh, Art Madrid from La Mesa, thank you. Um, and I'm probably missing some people. I'm sorry about that. So. Uh, Without taking up any more of your time, what I really want to do is introduce our first speaker, uh, Gabriella Dow. Um, Gabby has been working on modernizing government for over a decade now. Um, <laughs> I was being nice. <laughs> um, I think uh, I first met Gabby when she was first starting up Gov Partners, uh, and I was first starting up Complete Campaigns, and she's continued to move forward and push this forward. Now that she does it as part of uh, Mora Dow Consulting, Gabby also has the unique uh, position of being recognized both by Donna Fry and the Union Tribune as somebody to watch in 2014. So without further ado, Gabby. Thank you. And this is really challenging because I feel like I could spend an hour on each of these slides and I pulled some of these slides from different presentations at the gov 2 la conference, um, innovation groups, but as the first presentation of the evening, I really wanted to kind of set the stage and get you into a really good mindset for the really tremendous information that you're going to be absorbing. I'm not a programmer, so this isn't going to be very technical. I'm going to be more of how do we communicate about technology and how can all of you as elected officials and community leaders drive important policies and change. So when we talk about IT, information technology, um, what exactly is it that we're talking about? I think that's a good place to start. And I have uh, the privilege of also working with a lot of startups. So I see the most advanced, um, you know, the big talk these days is big data. Um, everything that you can do with regression analytics, everything that you can do with, uh, you know, hosting everything up in the cloud, making it accessible on mobile phones, wearable technology like Google Glass is a big deal. Uh, face recognition, which was a big driver for Facebook acquiring Instagram. And then certain systems like Nextdoor that are very specific to communities. But when we talk about IT, we're also talking about information in the technology of files. Um, we're talking about dot matrix systems. We're talking about mainframe computers um, that have been in the same spot for decades now. And these and carbon copy um, receipts, when you go register for a class, you sometimes get a triple carbon copy receipt. That is a form of technology. And this may be what many of you um, in the government sector are more accustomed to seeing, which is you know, the green screen um, DOS systems. But the truth is that the amount of technology that is stored in even these forms of outdated systems are incredibly powerful. And they are something that we need to modernize. Um, a mistake that I often see from some government agencies is they, they say, help us to make our website look better. Um, or we need apps. We need apps, just a blanket statement. You know, helping the website look better to me is like decorating a filing cabinet. Um, don't worry so much about what it looks like. You should be moving into mobile systems, but you need to use the information in there. And when you move into mobile technologies, what do you mean by an app? You need to use the information to actually solve a problem. What is the problem that you need to do and work backwards from that to have an app? So we really need to change our way of thinking about technology. And I think this is one of the most important things that I can impart on all of you, the leaders that are here today. 
Um, the one thing that I think we all have to just embrace is that the only constant is that technology is constantly changing. So from the first wall post, right, when somebody put their hand on a cave wall and shared information that I am here and they use the technology of that wall, to all the different mediums that we've seen, everything comes and goes. Newspapers are struggling. Um, and we saw everything go from printed to oral communication. I remember when the mobile phone was a pretty awesome advancement. Um, you look at that picture now and that seems pretty outdated. For those of you that saw the movie Her, uh, you know that we're moving beyond, that's not even a phone anymore. It's actually a companion, if you will. Um, it's an artificial intelligent presence that is with you. And as these different communication mediums change, we also change with them. So when maps uh, were absorbed by society, we became explorers. Clocks did not always exist. That is a technology that eventually got smaller, cheaper, went from the Times Square to your house to your wrist. We became timekeepers. And with the prevalence of the internet, we have become information processors. Think about the amount of email and information that you absorb. We, in a sense, become the technology. And it's not going to slow down. Um, as a mom, these pictures do scare me a little bit. <laughs> a little baby wearing Google Glass, the YouTube video of the little toddler who touches an iPad and then they give her a book and she tosses it aside, it doesn't work. Um, you know, this is something that we just have to accept as uh, it's our reality and it's going to only continue to evolve. You can be scared of it, like Dr. Lee DeForest, the inventor of the vacuum tube, he was scared to death that humans were going to walk around with little devices that would constantly feed them information. Or you can, like the Boston mayor, embrace that technology and use Twitter to get out important information during a security crisis like we had during the marathon bombing. So it's really the mindset that you decide you're going to approach. Um, this slide's a little overwhelming, but you can see all of the different benefits uh, that technology and data can have in social services, security, transportation, uh, defense, different um, revenue and tax compliance. And to not get overwhelmed by all of this, I recommend that you just lean into the technology. You're doing that by being here today. Uh, about a year ago, uh, we were in the same building with the Voice of San Diego talking about open data. I see that James Nagelvoort and again, course, uh, Councilman Kersey are here. We did a panel on infrastructure innovation just a few months ago. And then the other picture was of Mayor Sanders sitting down with tech startups to learn about them. Um, I really advocate for having a lot of diversity amongst your team. And usually, um, you know, you don't think about, you need to have different ages. There's a great video by the founder of Maker's Mark, how he teamed up with bourbon startups to really take that um, economic center uh, to the next level in Kentucky. And then the picture that you had there were of my two boys uh, testing out systems at different technology incubators around town. There's a real benefit to having uh, different members of your team represent almost um, you know, different times. And in the NASA project, uh, last year, the folks that do the outreach for them presented at Gov 2.0, and they talked about how having members of different ages on their team was incredibly important to get the word out. Uh, because it isn't going to be easy. In New York City, they are replacing all the pay phones with digital screens, which is very exciting, until the public realize the screens might be watching you. What does that mean? Uh, in Chicago, Mayor Daley was getting hammered by the local newspapers for not being transparent. So he decided on the website to put out all of the public records requests, starting with the ones from all the newspaper editors which they suddenly weren't excited about because now their competition knew what stories they were trying to get a scoop on. Um, so it's going to be difficult. We may not always get it right. Los Angeles has a good example of they did the budget challenge, which some programmers took a look at the different choices that were placed on there and realized that you could not balance the budget unless you adopted privatizing parking. And so you have to, I think, trust the crowd uh, to figure out what the different solutions are being used for. Carlsbad is a great example of a local government that I think has figured it out. They're doing interesting things like a biotech incubator, really leaning into and embracing different technologies. Um, and they're getting ready to launch a new library or to, to really revamp their library, which is another opportunity for us here in San Diego. So if you think about even a library is a form of technology. So I hope that this all just gets you to think about things a little bit differently, really understand what IT is all about. Um, it can be a location, a place where information is imparted, and it certainly is going to be something that all of your different departments, um, that all of your different communities um, you are going to continue to embrace to get us to improve life for everybody there. Thank you.